could open the word of God with me to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Listen to the word of the Lord we've already heard today in the script and in song. For to, and to us a child is born, and to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. I have a question tonight for all of you to consider. Who in here needs peace? Just consider a few words. Just see what comes to mind. North Korea. ISIS. Starving children. World hunger. War. Rumors of war. Shootings in churches like Texas, Tennessee. Is our world in desperate need of peace? How about this? Let's keep going. The media we watch every day. Boy, if that can get your blood boiling, right? Amen? We need peace. We need the shalom of God. Jesus promised us one thing, or the promise of Jesus in the prophecy, that one of the characteristics of the Messiah would be that he would be the prince of peace. So our God is here today to make sure that all of us know that we can have peace. <clears throat> Listen to what Jesus said. He also says that my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. Over and over again I've emphasized here at Lexington Park Baptist Church that the scriptures say at least 365 times. Do not be afraid. Fear not. God gives you a fear not for every day of the year. Amen? Amen? To know that we can find peace in him. Now, the peace that Jesus is speaking of is not a peace where there's no war, where there's no, no pain or no hurt. There is a day that will come in eternity for all of us. But the Jesus here is speaking of a peace that's internal and eternal. A shalom simply means a state of existence or a being in which you have a peace that overcomes you. And Jesus said, or the Bible tells us this, that it says that God will give us a peace which surpasses all understanding that will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. When we know Jesus, we can know a peace that the world cannot know. When we know Jesus, we can begin to experience something that surpasses anything that we can even comprehend or begin to explain. And my invitation to you tonight is simply this. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know peace. So if you don't have Christ in your life, you're missing something that's out of this world. You're missing something that cannot be explained. And I want to encourage you in this way. The world is going to have problems. Jesus has promised us that. Sin is going to happen. Troubles are going to call your name someday. By the way, and death will knock your, on your door someday too. Every single one of us in here. So we better make sure that we're at peace with God. And that we have his peace in our life. And Christmas is one of those times where we get to emphasize that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. When the shepherds were in the fields, the angels said, Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth, goodwill toward all men. Tonight, I, I don't care what your background is. Jesus, or God the Father, sent the angels to speak to shepherds who were nobodies in their day. So it doesn't matter if you're Catholic, if you're Presbyterian, if you're Jewish, if you're atheist. It doesn't matter who you are in here today. Jesus comes and proclaims with his angels the same message to each and every one of us in this room. Peace on earth, goodwill toward all men. Glory to God in the highest. And why was that message proclaimed then? And why do we proclaim it now? Because Jesus is Lord. Because the Messiah was born. The hope we had always waited on. The Prince of Peace had come. The Almighty God. The Everlasting Father. The Wonderful Counselor. He's real, you all. Those are words that are ascribed to Christ and Christ alone. And the Bible tells us this. That Joseph was commanded by an angel to name this son to be born to a, to a virgin named Mary, the name of Jesus. And to that name, the Bible tells us that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. 
that Jesus Christ is Lord. So my question to you is, do you have that peace because you've bowed that knee? Do you have that peace because you've confessed with your tongue? Now, I'm not saying this to be mean or to offend anyone in this room. But if you have not done that, you do not have peace eternal. Nor do you have peace internal. So my prayer for all of us in this room this Christmas is that we will bow our knee to Christ. That we will confess him with our lips that he is Lord over our lives. If you've done that, then you continue, like we sang, to continue to tell that story to anyone and everyone you see. And if you're in here tonight and maybe you've never done that, as the narrator has already shared with us, find someone, talk to someone tonight that can show you that this baby Jesus that is represented in this drama is true even in the 21st century Christmas today. He is still here. He has risen from the grave, and he is Lord. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, I pray that right now in this room that your peace will be upon us, your shalom, that we will know that we can have an eternal and an internal existence with you, a peace with you, a yearning to, to know you more, to be complete and to be whole. We thank you that the Christmas story tells us that you are the Prince of Peace. You are our only hope for peace in this world. If man is to ever get along in an earthly existence with peace, it's because of you. But more importantly than all of that, someday, the very words that the angels sang that day long ago, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill toward all men, will be true for all, in, all of us who have called upon the name of Jesus. May we be like the angels and proclaim. May we be like the angels who came to see this wonder and left to tell everyone. May we be like the wise men that will come and give our greatest gifts and seek out this Christ. Lord, this Christmas, may we find you and may we find peace. We pray in Jesus' name and all God's people said, Amen. Amen.